Hey my fellow Virgos, welcome back to Magenta Tarot Messages. We're going to be doing a quick energy reading for you. I've already shuffled for this and you already know what it is. So let's just begin. I'd like to thank everybody for the likes, comments, subscribes, booking those personal readings with me and just being here and giving me your good energy, Virgo. There's somebody here in your energy, alright? There's um, something happening in your energy. When I started to shuffle for you, the main energy that came up was another person. So we're going to see what that is and also see what other messages spirit has to say. We have the torch energy here. There's spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. So I do feel like things that you're being passed the torch. Okay, this torch is coming with enlightenment, awareness. It's coming with understanding. And this is a short journey, Virgo. Um, I feel like th it won't take long for this to develop for you in some type of way. And I don't feel like it's going to take long for this energy to come in for you. You could be taking a quick journey um, due to some type of enlightenment, some type of awareness here. All right. We have Peacock. Beware of great pride. Okay. That could be somebody in your energy. Your Virgo, you could be very prideful at this time. And then we have climbing towards success. So I do feel like there is an ascension in some type of way, an ascension happening with your energy, a shift happening with your energy. Um, I feel like this is going to be a short journey for you. And I do feel like this will end up with something prospering, but you getting success, it being a successful event, it being a successful venture. It is all good. Number 18. It is all good. So with this message, I feel like this message is a good message for you, Virgo. I do feel like the things that you're being aware of, enlightened of, understanding is all good. I feel like the success you're going towards is good as well. And then we have feminine energy. There's a lot of feminine energy around you. Okay, this message could be about a feminine. Um, this message could be to a feminine. Take it, a, take it as it resonates here. Um, 17 and 18. So I do feel like there is synchronicity here in this reading. Also could be something here with your sacral chakra. Okay, and then we have the death card endings death it's all good things are coming to an end a short journey to get somewhere else virgo bottom of the deck we have sadness and isolation in the reverse yeah i feel like there's somebody who wants to come out of isolation virgo um this could be you spirit wants you to come out of isolation what is this energy for virgo sun moon rising north node Venus. We have release in the reverse. Somebody hasn't released something. It's the energy of somebody holding on to something. Okay, but it's all good. You're getting some intuitive insight that will help you find balance in your feminine energy, balance in your emotional energy, and be able to put something to rest. There's something here about your base chakra that is being blocked. Okay, uh, this could be the need to get grounded. There's this, this could be the need to. Um, get rooted in something rooted in truth virgo and then we have listen spirit wants you to listen to something or someone wants you to listen to them let's see about this energy what is this energy for virgo green eyes could be very significant red hair could be significant um, red beard hair could be significant as well the amethyst could be significant a pendulum could be significant here Somebody who likes wearing headbands. What is this energy for Virgo? Seven of Cups. There's a lot of options for this energy. Uh, who wants Virgo to listen? What's the listening energy for Virgo? All right. Seven of Cups could be talking about multiple options, choices, a lot of things. Listening. Ace of Wands. Somebody has the desire for you to listen. There's a desire. Somebody is coming with this desire for you to listen to them with the Ace of Wands. It could be a fire sign, Leo Aries, Sagittarius energy. Um, win or lose in the reverse. This person doesn't know if they're going to win or lose this energy. They just want you to listen, Virgo. They don't know if this is going to work or not. This person just has the willpower, the desire, the spark to do something here. Um, heart chakra. This could be based around your heart chakra here emotions okay somebody's trying to plead to your heart chakra at this time 
because um, their dreams aren't coming true. Some dream they have with you maybe isn't coming true here, Virgo. There's the energy of you not trusting them or them not trusting you. Um, I do feel like, again, the crown shock, there's a lot of blocked energy. This person feels like um, they may not have listened to their intuition or you may not have listened. Take it as it resonates here. But we have manifested in the reverse. Something's not manifesting the way that they want it to when they're back here with that listening card. Okay, this could all be your energy. This could be spirit wanting you to listen to several options here. That could have been information that could have been blocked from you at a time. Maybe you didn't understand. Maybe you didn't trust it when you heard it. But now that information, this newness is here. You have the six of wands. Yeah, this is leading towards victory. All right, this is leading towards success, public recognition here. Um, these are options for success. Then we have the death card coming out twice. All right, so something definitely has to end. Something has, really has to change here. Something definitely has to transform. What's this death card for? The Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus. The Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Okay, leaving something out in the colds. Um, and really following your heart here. It's the energy of isolating and following your heart. Um, the end of poverty. Okay, so you could be feeling poverty at this time, Virgo. You could be feeling lack, spiritual, physical, uh, material, money lack, monetary lack here. And with the Knight of Cups, there's something that you need to follow. There's a path. There's an, an idea. There's something that you need to negotiate and go towards here what's the knight of cups for virgo being led to go towards three of wands three of wands talks about expansion growth so there's something that you can expand there's something that you could grow virgo there's something that you could be doing at this time ace of swords and the seven of swords all right, to have a breakthrough in this energy, it causes for you to act strategically, to um, get away with something, to act in a way where you could be betraying others, all right? Um, could be betraying others or have a breakthrough in this energy that you are betraying. So if you have something that you are not um, giving into, Virgo, if you are a rapper, a writer, a... Um, entrepreneur in some type of way or just like slacking on the job here there's something that you need to break through to get through to get over this betrayal to get over this hump here to get out of this five of pentacles energy what's the message for virgo the three of swords The Three of Swords in the Five of Cups. The Three of Cups in the reverse and the King of Cups in the reverse. Okay. So there could have been some type of heartbreak that you regret doing. A heartbreak. Something um, that may have caused you a lot of emotions. So we've got the emotion card twice here. And regret and sorrow, disappointment here. With the Three of Cups in the reverse, it talks about isolation discord it talks about scandals there could have been a scandal here with somebody who manipulated deceived you and emotionally abused you this could have got you away from working developing being enlightened being in good vibrational energy so the message is that something is holding you back something that happened is holding you back here maybe you don't know why this happened judgment in the reverse i feel like virgo the page of pentacles in the reverse i feel like with the judgment in the reverse there is something that you have not forgiven all right there's something that can't be amended you haven't learned your lesson from or <clears throat> someone hasn't learned their lesson with the page of pentacles in the reverse this is causing you to have some type of lack of commitment towards other things okay so that's the energy somebody could have came into your energy and caused you to have this um, 
frustration, stagnancy, not listening to your intuition, held you back from moving forward in some type of way. Spirit wants that energy to end. It is time for you to climb towards the ladder of success and develop awareness and understanding. What other messages do you have for Virgo? Under, Virgo, I mean, right? North Node, Venus. What other messages do you have for Virgo? We have share the love, okay? There's the energy of somebody not sharing something with you. Or okay, you, you could have been holding back your love, um, not been opening up to love. This could have caused something to not come true at this time. Um, caused you to not shine, caused this person to not shine here. And getting this energy of feeling alone. What's the feeling alone energy for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus? The Ten of Pentacles. Okay, you could be feeling alone away from your family, okay? Um, somebody could be feeling isolated from their family, from their legacy in some type of way. What's this energy here? The hang dragon, the hang wind, and the ace of swords. All right, somebody is feeling alone. Um, they're seeing that maybe uh, there's a large contribution or they want a long card contribution or they feeling alone because they're seeking this large contribution. Tell me about the ten of pentacles here. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Pentacles, okay? So this is why you're in this alone energy, okay? Um, there's things changing. There's faded events that put you alone, Virgo. At this time, with the Nine of Pentacles energy, it talks about self-sufficiency. In the self-sufficiency, you are able to go from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. So uh, from the Nine to the Ten, you're just missing one pinnacle here. This one pinnacle could be finances, love, um, emotional stability, answers it could be a lot of things here for you that is holding you back from this energy but it is fated for you to get this this is the development that i'm seeing there's some type of envelop development but you're going to be enlightened on in order to have a breakthrough what's the breakthrough for virgo hang dragon and the ace of swords what's the truth with the clarity mother goose could be significant ace of cups it was love virgo so you could have been put in alone put in an isolated energy not knowing why things were happening here um dreams haven't been coming true you're in an energy you're isolated here because um maybe something happened that puts you in this isolation maybe there was a love situation before we saw that with somebody who was emotionally abusive that may have put you in isolation and not allowed this love to come towards you but i feel like there's a faded event that is bringing in this energy for you virgo we have the ace of swords and the ace of cups what's the ace of cups for virgo who is this new love this love energy The Ten of Swords. Okay. Well, the Ten of Swords, it talks about painful endings, betrayal, loss, and deep wounds. This person could have experienced this at this time. Okay. And then we have the Magician. All right. Two of Cups at the bottom. Let's tap in. With the Ace of Cups, I asked who is this energy for Virgo. The Ten of Swords came out. Somebody who may have um, went through a painful ending. This could be you, Virgo. And now this is what you manifested from a painful ending. All right, Nine of Wands in the Sun card here. Um, Virgo, I feel like you may have used this Nine of Wands energy. You may have been very resilient you may have put up boundaries even though you were wounded you still took a stand and still trusted in the universe that this could come towards you and here and here comes the sun virgo here comes the sun doo -doo -doo -doo. um here comes that sun virgo here comes the happiness 
here along with the ten of cups so we have the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles completions and happy ever after is here for virgos the two of cups at the bottom here and the seven of pentacles something was preserved for you while you were going through this fear and anxiety and uh, all this energy that needed to be ended out you just needed to learn some type of discipline and knowledge from this past relationship virgo in order to balance this new opportunity coming towards you and really have this thing going right so i'm getting with this energy um a new love a situation a ten of pentacles and ten of cups could not manifest without you going through these lessons of the past, without these deaths, without um, a short journey where you had to develop in a, in your awareness and your enlightenment in some type of way. But it is here for you, Virgo. Heartbreak manifesting new love for you. We have the dreams coming true in the reverse again. Seek in the reverse. Yeah, something or something did not come true for you. It didn't blossom. It didn't come at the time you thought it was. You stopped seeking for it, Virgo. Um, you stopped wondering if you were going to win or lose. You stopped trusting in the people that were around you. All right, and this allows you to not be in this manifesting energy. It allowed something to not come true here. Um, your shine your awareness, but I feel like spirit is taking the lead here. This is when it's coming in, Virgo. When you're feeling, when you're not feeling helpless and hopeless anymore. So it's the energy of spirit was waiting for this exact moment. They're waiting for you to be not looking for love, not trusting in love, not, not wanting love, Virgo, for you to be focused on something else, being okay with being with yourself, um, being okay with developing yourself because this is only going to be a short journey for you. And then the success is going to come in. Uh, this, this journey may have helped you feel less hopeless and uh, helpless, Virgo. I feel like it's the energy of... It's the energy of you really deciding whether you are going to be helpless and hopeless in love or you're just going to turn your back on love and focus on something that is working for you, that could work for you, that will work for you. Indecision. I feel like you were in an indecisive time for a long time, but now it's time for success. Climbing that ladder for success. And a time of indecision is when success is coming towards you, Virgo, when you're least expecting it. There's happiness, okay? I feel like spirit is wanting you to <laughs> be patient, all right? They wanting you to be okay with being alone. They're wanting you to be in this energy where you're not going out and seeking for love, looking for it in the world. Because when you're seeking, that means that you are lacking love, Virgo. And that lack of love could put you and give you people that you did not want to be around, okay? Energy that you didn't want to have and the discipline to love yourself, to know that you're okay, to be okay with being alone is the thing that manifested this new love for you, all right? There is something that you still have not forgiven, some energy that you've still not gotten over. Um, this is not serving you in any way, Virgo. I do feel like... In order for you to preserve something, you need to at least forgive yourself here and take it as adversity. I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. Accept it as a challenge. Accept it as something that you had to learn here. That will help you forgive. I will help this energy come in faster for you. New love is on the horizon, Virgo. A short journey needed to happen in order for this death to come, in order for this transformation to come. But this is the ladder towards success. Once you start paying attention to your finances, something that you have been neglecting, this could be yourself, your finances, your home, your love life. No, no, don't focus on love. <laughs> your Yourself, your finances, your home, your family. There's something that you have been neglecting that could get you forward financially. And that financial breakthrough is the energy of you taking your attention off of the past, taking your attention off of the things that haven't worked and not looking for love. That is that exact energy spirit needs you to be in in order for love to be manifested for you, in order for you to get that last pinnacle, in order for a happiness in 
the end of a journey and success to come through for you. There's that happiness again. This is what I got here for the Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus. Resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next for the Virgos. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.